fact, for all intramuscular injections, the needle must be long enough to reach the muscle to prevent medication from going into the subcutaneous tissue. So using longer needles, according to CDC guidelines with age recommendations, it has contributed to less redness and swelling. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to give an IM injection for your pediatric and adult population with a live demo. Roll the intro. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Welcome to my channel. I help nursing students through educational content, strategies, and practical tips to help build career confidence. If that sounds like something you're into, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Anytime before you give an injection, you wanna gather your supplies. This will include your medication, syringe, your needle, alcohol prep, your two by two gauze, and band-aid if needed. And be sure to do your hand hygiene and verify your six rights, right patient, right medication, right dose, right time, right route, and right documentation. So for today, we'll be administering the flu vaccine. As I'm drawing up the medication, I'm thinking of what is the safest location to administer for the patient. The volume is 0.5 mils of medication that will be installed, so which muscle is largest enough to store? I'm also considering age and muscle mass. As I know, the ventrogluteal can hold 2.5 mils, the deltoid muscle can hold one mil, and the rectus femoris can hold five mils of fluid. So with all IM injections, they are administered at 90 degree angle, and you'll want to use a 22 to 25 gauge. The most common sites are your anterior lateral aspect of the thigh or the deltoid deltoid muscle of the upper arm, which is age dependent. So under two years of age, you'll inject into the anterior lateral side of the child's thigh for the one and two year old. They will use a one inch or a 1.25 inch needle length. I'm gonna include a list of recommended gauges and needle sizes in the description below. You wanna make sure the toddler's legs are completely exposed. You wanna locate the upper greater trochanter and the lower patella of the kneecap. You wanna pretend there is an imaginary line between the greater trochanter and patella. Then imagine the thigh is divided further into thirds. So the vastus lateralis would be located in the middle outer aspect of the thigh. If giving more than one injection, you wanna spread it 2.5 centimeters apart. For your child that is three years to 10 years of age and up, you wanna inject into the deltoid muscle of the upper arm with a 5 eighth or one inch needle length as two vaccines or shots can be administered in one arm as long as they are one inch apart. You wanna locate the top of the acromion process two inches below. You wanna draw an imaginary upside down triangle with the edge as a deltoid tuberosity. The injection site would be the center of the deltoid. For the adult patient greater than or equal to 19 years of age, the deltoid muscle is a recommended site for IM vaccinations. So for your male and female less than 130 pounds, some experts may do a Z-track method using a 5 8 inch needle, only if skin is stretched flat to prevent it from going into the subcutaneous fat of the skin using a 90 degree angle. On the adult patient, you wanna ask that they relax their arm, tensing up will cause more pain. You're gonna locate the chromium process, two fingers down is where you will inject the medication with the bevel facing up in a 90 degree angle, inject the medication with your dominant hand. Do not aspirate as it is not indicated and then withdraw the needle and dispose of in a sharps container. For the adult patient, male or female, that is 130 pounds to 152 pounds, you can use a one inch needle, which is sufficient. For the adult patient that may be greater than 200 pounds, a one and a half inch needle is recommended. If you are administering a vaccine, be sure to chart the expiration date, the lot number. You wanna visually show the patient or parents the vaccine you're administering and document how the patient tolerated. Be sure to provide parent or patient information on what vaccine or shot they received and dispose of the needle in the sharps container. If you find value in this content, be sure to smash that like button and share with your fellow friends. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.